Domination from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at www.wikipedia.org. In phonetics, domination is when a spoken consonant is doubled, so that it is pronounced for an audibly longer period of time than a single consonant. The term comes from the word geminus, Latin for twin. Domination is distinctive in certain languages, for instance Italian, Japanese, Arabic and Finnish. Most languages, like English, don't have distinctive geminates. Estonian has two different lengths of geminates. Gemination in phonetics Geminated fricatives, nasals, approximants and trills are simply prolonged. In geminated stops, the hold is prolonged. Geminates are usually around one and a half or two times as long as a short consonant, depending on the language. History of the term Originally, gemination was something different from mere consonant length. At the end of the 19th century, German phoneticians thought that a long consonant that follows a checked vowel would have two peaks of intensity, whereas other long consonants would have only one. Therefore, these double-peaked long consonants were called geminates. The hypothesis of the two peaks of intensity was abandoned because it could not be confirmed by measurements. Nowadays, the term geminate is a synonym for long consonant. The term is occasionally applied to vowels. Writing In written language, gemination is often indicated by writing a consonant twice, as in double S, double key, double P, and so on, but can also be indicated with a special symbol, such as the shada in Arabic. Estonian uses B, D, G for short consonants, and P, T, key, and double P, double T, double key are used for geminates. Gemination can also be a spelling phenomenon, as in English words like running, while there's no lengthening of the consonant in actual speech. However, consonants in English are often doubled in writing to indicate that the preceding vowel is short, as in tapping, from tap, which is distinct from taping, from tape. In English In the English phonology, gemination is not distinctive. Phonetic gemination occurs marginally. It is found where a root word is preceded by another root or a prefix ending with the same letter of sound that the second root begins with. Examples are homemade, screen name, flat top, misspell, unknown, interrelated, innumerable, irredeemable. It is also found when the suffix ly follows a root ending in l or double l. Examples are fully, dully, folly. Naturally, it also occurs over word boundaries. I learn some money with things. In most instances, the absence of this outline does not affect the meaning, though it may momentarily confuse the listener. Notable examples where the doubling does affect the meaning are the pairs unnamed versus unnamed and holy versus holy. In other languages, in languages such as Swedish or Italian, consonant gemination and vowel length depend on each other. That is, a short vowel must be followed by a long consonant, that is a geminate, whereas a long vowel must be followed by a short consonant. In other languages, such as Finnish or Japanese, consonant gemination and vowel length are independent from each other. In Finnish, gemination is phonemic, such that tullen, 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 and so on are different and unrelated words. It is also affected by consonant gradation. Distinctive gemination is usually restricted to certain consonants. There are very few languages that have initial gemination. Examples are Patani Malai or some specific Almanic dialects in Switzerland, for example Thurgovian. Also in spoken Finnish, geminates are produced between words by soundy effects. Consult also Lens, Phonetics, List of Phonetics Topics. This article and the original text are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License at www.gnu.org/copyleft.